hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and this is a new video talking about the lambda function lambda is available in office 65 since more than one year now however this is the first time to discuss it in my channel and let's start by just discussing what does lambda do actually lambda is available to help you to create custom reusable functions so you can use lambda to create your own function and then you can give it a name and recall this function using the friendly name that you choose for yourself the new function that you create will be available throughout the workbook and you can call it like any native excel function why should i create a custom function you create this custom function in case that you have a formula that is commonly used inside your workbook and once you do that you will eliminate the need for copy and paste and this is for sure a basic reason for errors inside your model the newly created function will be added to your excel function library and the good news that lambda doesn't require any vba macros or javascript so if you are not a programmer no problem you still can benefit from it let's go directly and look at the example that we have for today we have a very simple example for today we have a column containing four products a b c and d and i have two columns for the price and discount for each and every product the requirement is to calculate the discounted price i think it is very basic let's try it together I'm going to start by product A, I'm going to hit equal and then I'm going to choose the cell containing the price which is basically C6 and then I'm going to multiply it by 1 minus the cell containing the discount percentage and then close the bracket and hit enter. Here you go, the 100, the 100 pounds or dollars is discounted to be only 90 dollars or pounds. If I try to drag this down, you will see that in the case of the 85 with discount of 12.5 i'll have 74.375 and this is not good for a price it's it should have only two decimal places as fraction so i'm going back to the first cell and i'm going to change my formula i'm going to add a function like the round so i'm going to use the round function and this will round my result up to only two decimal places so i'm going to add a comma and then two close the bracket and hit enter let me now drag it down you will see that i have the discounted price 74.38 it is relatively long i have a function and inside the function i have calculation with two parameters or two variables and now i want to convert this into a custom function i need a custom function i give it only the price and the discount only two variables price and discount and it will automatically do the calculation for discount and on top of this calculation it will also do the rounding for me in order to do so let me try any empty cell here i'm going to use the lambda function i'm going to type equal and then lambda lambda requires parameter or calculation but you have up to 255 parameters or calculation inside the lambda so let's try to put our parameters my first parameter will be a variable to represent the price so let me give it any name i can use any name like p so i'm going to use p and then comma i need to add another variable to represent the discount so i'm going to use the character d so i have p for price and also d for discount then i'm going to add a comma and i'm going to use the calculation that i did the round function and inside the round function i'm going to do my calculation for the price discount i already have a copy in my clipboard so i'm going to just press on Control v and here is my calculation it is just telling excel please round the outcome or the result of c6 multiplied by 1 minus d6 and this round will be up to only two decimal places now let's think about it I have here c6 and c6 is a price and i have a variable just to represent the price so instead of c6 i'm going to use my p variable and instead of d6 i'm going to use my d variable and then i'm going to close the bracket for lambda and hit enter and you'll find that i have an error why do i have an error 
because I didn't pass any values to my variables. So I have the P and D, but there is no values assigned to these variables. In order to do so, I can just try it inside the Excel sheet, inside the worksheet, so I can just edit and then open a bracket at the end and then pass values for these variables. In my case, I'm going to try the B product or product B. So I'm going to select C7. This will be passed to the P variable and then comma. And I'm going to select D7 and this will be passed to the variable D and then close and hit enter. And here you go. I have exactly the same outcome. Even if you add decimal places, you have 74.38 and this is exactly what I want. Now you can say, why should I do all of this? I can just put it here and just drag it. You are right. But when I convert the Lambda into a custom function, I think you will change your mind a bit. So let's try together to add the Lambda, the new created function inside our Excel function library. In order to do so, I'm going to copy the part of the Lambda function itself without the parameters added, Control C to copy, and then going to formula tab, and I'm going to define name. From define name, I'm going to give a friendly name to my newly created function. Let me call it disk price or discounted price. And inside the refer to, I'm going to add my Lambda. Here you go, control V to paste and then click on OK. And now I'm going to delete this and try my new function. I'm going to type equal and then disk. Here is my newly created function, discounted price. It will ask me for P and D, price and discount. So I'm going to select C6, comma, and then D6, close the bracket and hit enter. And here you go. I can just send this down the sheet and it is doing the calculation for me. Now it is becoming more practical. I can just give it a name and use this name inside any place inside my workbook. And before the end of this video, I have a very small tip for you. Let me go back to formula and then name manager. And here is my Lambda function. I'm just going to edit and I can add a comment here. The comment will be something is explaining what this function is doing or even adding the meaning of the parameter. So I can just put something like P equals price and comma D equals discount and then click on OK and then close. And let's try it once more. I'm going to type equal disk price. Once I select it, you can see that I have annotation helping me saying that P equals price and D equals discount. So I understand that I need to pass a value for P, which is price and a value for D, which is basically the discount. That was all for today. I hope that was useful for you. And if you like this video, please like it, leave me a comment and subscribe and also share the video in order for other people to get benefit of it. Thank you very much and see you in next video and bye.